Hi, my name is Marina. I'm a scientist at BioBus. My pronouns are she, her. Welcome to this week's Explore at Home Challenge. Today, we're going to learn about mushrooms and make our very own spore prints. First off, what are these things called fungi? We know so little about them, but the truth is that they are everywhere. Did you know that every breath we take on this planet, we inhale fungal spores? Spores are like seeds. They are the reproductive unit of a fungus. These seeds are spread by mushrooms, which are the fruiting body of a fungus. Fungi are such an important part of our ecosystem. They create underground networks that allow plants to interact with one another, swap information, and transfer necessary nutrients. There are over 50,000 species of mushrooms. Most of them have not even been identified yet, which means there is a lot of room for you to become a mushroom expert and make amazing discoveries. A mushroom scientist is called a mycologist, and the study of mushrooms is called mycology. I myself am a mycophile, which means that I love learning about, harvesting, and eating mushrooms. Indigenous peoples all over the world have always known the importance of mushrooms for things like nutrients as well as medicine. In North America, Haplorporus odorus was and still is used by a lot of Native Americans to stop wounds from bleeding, make infusions for belly aches, and even to treat coughing. Most of the knowledge today scientists have about mushrooms is owed to indigenous knowledge. So let's get started. First off, spore prints are a very important tool that scientists use to study and identify mushrooms. Step one, find a mushroom. If you want to find mushrooms outside, the best places to find mushrooms are wet and dark with soil or wood chips or growing near trees. Once you find a mushroom, you can collect it and bring it somewhere to do your spore print. I found my mushroom outside of the park, so I decided to do my spore print at a park table. If you can't go outside, you can venture into the darkest and coldest place in your house your fridge. If you eat mushrooms at home, you might find portabella, cremini, baby bella, shiitake, or beach mushrooms in your fridge. You can use any edible mushroom to make a spore print, so don't forget to let us know what you use. In other countries, foraging for mushrooms is a common hobby. If you find a mushroom outside, you can definitely make a spore print, but eating it could be dangerous. Always remember to find a qualified mushroom identifier to check if it's edible or not. Step two, observe your mushroom. What size and color is it? Where did you find it? Does it have gills on its underside? Step three, gather your materials. You will need some water, a paper towel or pipette, a bowl or Tupperware, a dark surface, I used a black garbage bag, and a light surface, some paper. Step four, gently twist off your mushroom stem and place your mushroom cap on the surface. If you only have one mushroom, place it half on the dark surface and half on the light surface. That way we can see the spores no matter what color they are. Step five, use a pipette or paper towel soaked in water to place one to three drops of water on your mushroom cap. This drop of water simulates rain and that's when the mushroom releases its spores. Step six, cover your mushroom with your container and let it rest for two to 24 hours. I waited about 12 hours and these are my results. Step seven, Make observations about your mushroom and your spore print. What color is your spore print? Is your spore print made of mostly lines, circles, or other shapes? If you know what mushroom you use because you got it from your fridge, does it match that mushroom spore print when you look it up online? If you don't know what mushroom you used, does its spore print look like anything that you found online? You can document your findings in a notebook on our online form or through taking pictures. Please share your findings with us. I can't wait to see what you've discovered. Thank mm -hmm. you.